Good morning guys. I just got back from the gym. I went to the fitness loft in Columbus. It was okay. Um, I had a deadlift and I don't think that they liked the noise I was making, but I'm only there for two days, so whatever. But I'm about to make some eggs, so let me show you this. This is the little egg maker that I have, and it's by Cuisinart. So all I did was fill this guy up all the way and put water in the bottom. So now I'm gonna take my eggs, it does 10 at a time, and plop them on there. Um, and then you need to stab the top. So you have to pierce the top of your egg. So there's like a little metal thing here. And you just take it and pierce your egg. Like so. Just a little teeny dot. Like that. Ta-da! Okay, and then once you have those eggs done... Okay, guys, this really is the first time I'm using this. So this is like real time. So if I look like I don't know what I'm doing, that's why. Okay, so then we take that, pierce the rest of our eggs, and then I'll show you what it looks like before I start cooking it. So then there's the second rack, and I put three more on top. So I'm going to have a total of nine eggs. And then I take the lid, pop it on, and then there's just a little switch down here. And I pop it on. And I'm just going to let them cook. The manual says when the water is completely evaporated, the cooking cycle ends. Um, and cooking times will vary based on eggs. So, you just let it cook. And I'll show you guys what they look like when they For post-workout, I am having a protein shake. And I'll show you, I'm having my cream of rice, so I'm trying to, an oat bran. But the fridge that they gave me is broken and it's freezing all of my food so there's like chunks in here so i'm going to put it in a bigger container and go down to the breakfast area and microwave it so that i don't have to eat a frozen block uh yeah but the knob is like <laughs> completely off of the fridge look at this and i tried to like use my tweezers and move it and i can't so everything is freezing do you see that there's no knob it is so frustrating and my room smells like straight up cigarette smoke, so there's that. So I'm gonna go get like cold water and put it in here and microwave my breakfast. So there was a microwave down in the breakfast area, but it was slow as you know what. Like literally took me five minutes to microwave this. But that's okay, it's warm and I'm gonna let it sit and hopefully thicken up a little bit. And then the eggs are just cooking away. You can see the steam there. And I'll let you know about how long they take. So that's what it does when it's done, apparently. So I'm just going to let them sit for a minute before I show you because there's steam in there and they are hot. So there you go, guys. Nice and clean. And I'm going to let them cool off. And you can tell because this one is cracked right here that they are cooked because they're white on the inside and I'll let you guys know once they cool down how easy they are to peel and show you the finished product. So far so good. Alright guys, so they are pretty cool. I can pick them up. I have my scale here. I'm going to weigh out 230 grams of egg whites and 220 grams of egg whites just like if I were doing liquid egg whites. So I'm going to peel them, take out the yolks and pop them in a container. Can I just say, these peel like a dream. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel all these and I'll show you the meal. So that's what it looks like when it's all done. It didn't take me much time at all and that will be meal number two along with 10 grams of oat bran and 10 grams of cream of rice. The verdict on this little guy, it is a winner. Highly, highly recommend. It's easy to use, you have fresh eggs and they peel like a dream. They're the easiest hard boiled eggs I've ever peeled in my life. So, it's totally worth the money. I think it runs about 40 bucks. I will link it on Amazon below. And yeah, 
I love it. So go out and give it a try if you're looking for an easy way to hard boiled eggs or if you travel a lot, it's amazing. By the way, the actual name is the Cuisinart Egg Central. So like I said, I will link that down below so you can give it a look online. Okay guys, this is the outfit for today. Um, luckily our office is nice and casual. So I have jeans, some like clogs, and just a black collared shirt and a vest because it's not that cold here, which is rare. I'm about to eat meal two, which is 10 grams of oat bran, 10 grams cream of rice. I'm gonna go try to heat that up in the microwave because it's frozen like my last one. And then I'm gonna eat one of my egg white meals. And then I'm probably gonna get going. So I don't know the next time I'll vlog. I'll see if I can vlog a meal. Um, but yeah, we have a full day ahead of us. And if nothing else, I will talk to you at the end of it. and couches and they have like snacks and like yeah like coffee and like they have like a big giant candy bar like that you can like <laughs> feast off of candy and there's like all these like energy bars and Hey guys, it is Friday morning. I did not vlog at all last night. I got up a little bit before four and didn't get back to the hotel till 9 p.m. So I was exhausted and I just went to bed. But we were told that we have to be at our location a half an hour earlier than we had originally thought this morning. So I didn't get to go to the gym like that's away from my hotel, but I'm going to go to the hotel gym and get in a workout really hopefully quickly I have a big workout to do though um, but the good news about that is hotel gyms are usually empty so I'm gonna bring my camera and attempt to film a little bit but I have my eggs and my egg cooker ready to just flip on when I get back in the hotel room um, and then I have to come back in here and pack up and get ready so that's what's going on I thought I had something else to tell you guys I had a way low weigh in this morning of 146.2 which is really good and it's right on track to where I need to be because I need to be in the one mid 130s by in four weeks now almost. Um, so that was good news. Oh, last night we went to dinner at this like really cool taco place. I had hot tea, but everyone else's food looked awesome. I took like a little clip of that, which you just saw. And yeah, so if I can, I will film a little bit of my workout for you guys. I have glutes and hips. <laughs> Alright guys, I just got done from doing a glute workout in the hotel, um, in the hotel gym, wow. I'll probably make that a separate video, like, gym, hotel, booty workout, so look for that. Um, cause if I put it in this video, it's gonna be way too long. But, I just got back to my room, and like I said, I already had all my eggs in here, ready to go. So I'm just gonna flip it on. And I don't need those till meal two, so I'm gonna let those cook. Um, and then I have, in here, my cream of rice, which I'm gonna go heat up in the microwave down the hall.
And then I just went and got some cold water post-workout. And I have my shaker bottle here. I had my second serving of whey protein isolate at the bottom. I'm just gonna throw water in there, have that, and go heat up my cereal. And that'll be meal one. I did train fasted this morning because it was like super, super early and I'm gonna have a long day. And I knew that if I ate at 4 a.m., I'd be like so hungry at night. So I was trying to save some of my meals. I don't recommend that when you're lifting, but when your schedule makes you, it's okay. All right, you guys, I am packing up and getting ready to go. I have my lunchbox all packed. I have two chicken meals. Um, I peeled my eggs again. And I have that ready to go with my cream of rice. That would be my third meal. For my second meal, which is still in the fridge, that I'm about to eat, I have 200 and 20 grams of egg whites, and then my 10 grams of cream of rice and 10 grams of oat bran. I'm about to go and heat this up and eat it, <laughs> obviously. Um, and then, yeah, I'm just packing everything else up. I have my suitcase all done and my computer bag and all that jazz. So I'm gonna go get a coffee. I'm drinking, they have like this orange tea here and it is bomb. Um, I will get one of the tea packs and show you. You guys know I love my tea. But yeah, that's what's going on. I'm getting, oh sorry. I'm getting ready to go. I'm meeting the entire marketing team at one of the stores and we're actually gonna film some videos for the stores today, which is really exciting because like, hello, that's right up my alley, and edit them. Um, so maybe I'll throw some clips in here when we do that. And that's probably gonna round out this vlog for the most part. I might show you maybe at one point when I'm eating. Probably not, it's gonna be a pretty busy day. But I just have chicken and asparagus, egg whites, cream of rice. So I'm going to actually wrap up the vlog part of this video. Um, but like I said, at the end, I'll throw in some clips of the rest of the day and some of the things we filmed in the store. It should be pretty cool. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Watch for that workout. I will put that up probably in the next couple days. It's a good one. It's very high rep. It was a killer. I will see you all in the next one. I have my bikini update Monday, which should be fun. And... I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye, guys. P.S. This is the tea that they have that is so good. It's the orange and spice Bigelow tea. We don't Try it. And we think when we die, that's just going to be that. Some people console themselves with the idea that they're going to heaven, or that they're going to be reincarnated, or they're going to summer land, or something else. People don't really believe that. But for most people, it's plausible. The real thing that haunts them.